So, what is a wind impacted fire? These fires are predominantly due to wind forcing fire back into the building through windows that have either self-vented, been left open by the occupants, or were vented prematurely by firefighters. It's a deadly fire which if the apartment door is left open, or it's opened by us and not controlled, causes blowtorch conditions in the apartment and the public hall without warning. Wind striking the face of the building is funneled through an open window, which greatly increases the amount of oxygen that comes into contact with the fuel. This results in a dramatic increase in the heat release from the burning fuel. The wind impacted flames now create a blowtorching fire. It blasts out of the apartment door and into the public hallway. This open apartment door allows for the movement of heat and smoke from the high pressure fire area to the low pressure area of the public hallway. The term for this movement of superheated smoke and fire gases is flow path. When I was at the door to the fire apartment, with the door closed and my hands holding the door, keeping the door from closing all the way, it just created a small little opening for the heat and the wind to come through. And it was howling through that opening, the heat was disorienting, and my hands had burned through my gloves. During high-rise multiple dwelling operations, our actions or inactions can create the conditions for this airflow or the flow path. When we stretch a line from the attack stairway, the stairway door becomes blocked open and now the staircase itself becomes a chimney. That's a flow path. This situation is even worse if the bulkhead door at the top of the attack stairway is opened. Remember, any venting of attack stairway bulkhead doors must be done with the permission of the incident commander. The opening of a door on the opposite side of the hallway from the fire apartment, whether by us or an occupant, will also create another flow path. And that's going to draw the fire into the public hallway and could turn this into a blowtorching fire. If you feel you have to force an apartment door in the public hallway to use as an area of refuge, you have to force a door on the same side of the hallway as the fire apartment. If you don't, you're going to create a flow path. If you're dealing with an open door scenario and you don't know which side of the hallway the open fire apartment door is on, you shouldn't be forcing any doors as an area of refuge. Because if you force the wrong door, which is a door on the opposite side of the hallway from the open fire apartment door, you're going to create a flow path and you're going to draw the fire and heat to you. When wind, window failure, and an open apartment door come together, they're going to turn a seemingly routine fire into a wind impacted fire. This heat and fire will extend from the apartment into the public hallway faster than members can evacuate or exit the public hall. This blowtorching wind impacted fire is producing superheated gases with temperatures that are in excess of 1500 to 2000 degrees. The heat levels alone in the hallway are enough to fatally injure firefighters.